Okay, we've got our table and uh, or we've got our database. So now we're going to create our table and we're going to call this table items. And we're going to give this three columns. All right. And our first column is going to be item items ID. This is going to be an integer and it's going to be 11 in length and we're going to do an index on this. It's going to be primary and it's going to be auto increment. Our next is going to be items item and then that's going to be a varchar and we're going to make that 255 and uh, no defaults or anything and our next one's going to be items underscore time and this is going to be a date time, no defaults or anything, and we're going to save this. Okay, so now we have our table, uh, items, we click on that and it shows items ID, items item, items time. Okay, from here uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, insert, let's say, bread in this one. And we're going to give it no time because it's just going to shoot us an error and tell us that we're out of range on our time. But let's see. Okay, out of range column one, out of range column two. That's because we didn't add a time into there. So if we go back over here to browse, you'll see that our first item, which is auto increment, which is one, is bread, and there is no time involved there. Second item, auto increment, is milk, and there's no time involved there. So now what I'm going to do uh, right now is I'm just going to go ahead and leave those present. And from here, we're going to go ahead and select our uh, layout for our pages because uh, we want to use a pretty standard layout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a uh, just a, a basic... Uh, there's this guy that makes some really good templates that uh, cross the lines between... Uh, desktop mode and phone mode and they scale really well in both of those so rather than write a whole bunch of CSS and everything we're gonna really try and keep this very very simple and down to the core uh, I might make a an enhanced version later on but for right now all we're doing is we're just making a grocery list that you can go to and add and delete items from and that your whole family can use so uh, let me go ahead and find that template that I'm gonna be using and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.